Barbara Kessler is a nationally known singer-songwriter. She has received a number of awards for her songs at major music festivals throughout the United States, and her debut CD won the Boston Music Award. Her songs can also be heard on network television or on recordings of music compilations like Rounder Records and Put a Mayo. Barbara has a recording studio in her barn where she coaches, teaches, and records for musicians and creates CDs. And more recently, she has been at work also giving workshops in positive psychology, mindfulness, and finding one's voice. So please join me in welcoming from the back in the dark, coming to light, Barbara Kessler. <laughs> Store on the corner, and every payday we'd go blow it all down at the bar. And I would be happy with you. There would be nothing better to do. There's nothing better than being happy with you In the city, in a deep crowd No view from our window And 60 hour week sleeping Sundays And in summer I feel so uh, wonderful to be back at uh, Wake Up and Smell the Poetry Sandwiched or, or at the end of this lovely sandwich of 
beautiful words, poetry and, and storytelling and, and dreamscaping. It's just, uh, it's kind of hard to shake myself into performing after that. I don't know about <laughs> you guys getting ready for the open mic after this, but um, um, it's funny because I used to tour that song I wrote while I was on the road somewhere between Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and Texas. And, um, and I was thinking of like little towns and places where people lived, and I ended up finding one right here in Hopkinton, and that's always funny to me when I play that song, because, you know, we don't have a dog, though, but uh, the neighbors do. That's true. So, uh, but um, I've kind of over the years become less, less and less um, of a performer, uh, sort of gradual uh, movement away from the focus on my own experience and into kind of um, experiencing and witnessing and facilitating others. And just today, I'm so honored to have spent time with both of the other artists on the bill, uh, the other features uh, as a, an actor. I, I worked in, uh, I don't know if anybody came out to see this summer, we did Shakespeare Under the Stars, a gender-reversed Taming of the Shrew. And uh, Meg Tyler played one of the leads in a fantastically funny way. So I got to play with her on that stage. And I got to work with Sandra as she brought her work from her book into a CD of meditations that uh, she has available today that I, I was, had the honor of producing and creating some music for as well. So I, I feel like this kind of, um, it's less about what I have to say, but uh, um, thank you for listening in any case. And um, I played this next song actually when it was first written at Wake Up and Smell the Poetry. And um, it's kind of about remember, remembering and memory and the faultiness of memory as we, we live through our lives and we, we tell our stories and, this is, and how we change despite what we remember. So this is called New Me. There were flowers on the tables, a fire in the yard where they buried the lobsters while we said our vows and you were holding me from behind holding back tears cause Jennifer was singing our song but I really can't remember anything away we're all Midnight Christmas Day I couldn't sleep from all I ate Since I was fat anyway And then my water broke They sent us home It wasn't time yet Then 31 hours later Too tired to hold you Your eyes blinking up at me Wide and slow Christmas five years later and I wonder if my heart like the Grinches could grow bigger without tearing apart then two weeks later I got my answer when I held you I held you in my arms
the new me A new me A new me Yeah, yeah I'm a new me Thank you. So lovely. Um, thank you so much. Looking forward to hearing the open mic following. It's a great tradition um, that Cheryl Peralt has built here at HCAM every third Saturday, is it? And I know a lot of people uh, come and listen and bathe in the words and also share their own, which I am hugely honored when people do. And um, I'd like to just put in a small plug for the open mic that I will be restarting back uh, as soon as the space is ready for us at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. I used to run one, the folk open mic downtown when they had a little space. And they've been uh, you know, wandering without a home, the Center for the Arts, for a while. So it will be coming sometime this winter, so stay tuned. And all will be welcome there as well. Um, we tend to attract a lot of kids, though, to that open mic, which is always charming. You never know what they're going to sing. Um, but they're always great. It, they're, they're always great. Uh, so this song, I'm going to attempt to do. I haven't, I don't usually um, get to play this one, but this is a song I had the uh, exciting honor uh, to create for a, a Sony PlayStation game. Not too many folk singers get there. <laughs> get that target demographic of the, the game playing set. Um, and so it's quite a funny, it's kind of a funny uh, opportunity for me. And I, it's, it's on YouTube. If, if you look it up, it's called Dreaming My Way Home. And um, a lot of people have taken the song and the recording from the Sony put out an album to go with the game. And people have made these montages from different games with the song playing in the background. And so it's funny the kinds of, um, you know, attention I've gotten from that crowd for this song. And um, it was also a really fun treat to write because I was working with uh, a creative team based in Japan and there was a significant language barrier. Um, and so I had to kind of try and create the feeling that they had for this, this moment. And the, and the song appears at the end of a game. And these games, I don't know if anybody plays role-playing games, but they take like 80 hours of play time to complete. <laughs> So I was like, no one's ever going to hear this song. Because, you, you know, it comes at the end. It's like the end credit theme that rolls when they play all the credits and like at the end of a movie. So I'm like, no one's ever going to hear this. <laughs> but people play these games for hours and hours. So, um, And apparently the home planet is destroyed in the, the prior game. This game is a sequel. <laughs> so there's this feeling of looking for one's home, which as a folky and a former traveling musician, I could definitely relate to. So this is called Dreaming My Way Home. Time froze 
where a candle still burning bright brings comfort to the darkest so much yeah I'm gonna finish up with a song now that um, is so exciting the Hopkinton anthology um, for the 300th birthday um, the town of Hopkinton in, in story and and uh, poems and a couple of songs in there which I'm thrilled to be a part of and this song I wrote inspired by uh, living here and just driving around and um, I have a recording of it that has it's just just a, a home recording I mean uh, of my two daughters singing it and it's dear to my heart so now when I sing it I feel kind of like a fraud it's like it's not my song but um, it's called Little House and I thank you again and I look forward to hearing you at the open mic thank you again Cheryl Peralt and Hopkinton uh, Cable uh, HCAM for hosting this Little house on a hill down a dirt road in a town by the lake not far from the sea you and me inside
Thank you. This one? Yep. I Hi. Yeah, it's it's I'm going to go with the uh, idea of the openness of the mic <laughs> <laughs> and and the stage. And I think the Hopkinton Center for the Arts is a perfect place for that because they don't just do music, they do dance, they do visual art, they do um, theatrical performances, stuff for kids, stuff for all ages. They're even doing some yoga and and health and uh, and mindfulness stuff. So it's I think we want to stay on the open side of that. Yeah. So that would be you, Betsy. <laughs> There's an open invitation. <laughs> Is there a day of the month? We are looking at Fridays, which for performing artists is sometimes hard, but um, it seems like that may be it. Stay tuned, though. It's not in stone yet. And it would be once a month. On the website? It will be. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. It will be posted on the website when it's uh, decided, for sure. Thanks. All righty. And you have CDs here today? Oh, yes. All right. I do. The last CD I produced uh, myself in my own studio at home. It's called What You Keep, uh, based on the proverb, what you give away, you keep. And um, in that a atmosphere of uh, feel free to take one, it's by donation only. So anything you care to pay, it's a any of the CDs, it's, it's fine. So I'd rather have you have it um, and hear it if you care to. So thanks. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you. All right. <laughs>Measurements to learn. Against the winter and snowstorms, a special neighbor came to my home. Gift bag, beautiful card, delicious pumpkin bread, and a winter candle. Welcome to the neighborhood, she said. Warm hug, a smile, special neighbors, no more boundaries. I've learned with my new beginnings, Hopton Running Club, where I met my best friends in the town, Tuesday's runs, brunches and laughs, Saturday runs, 5Ks, half marathons, marathons, relays, teamwork, friendship, we are sharing the way. In Hopton Center for the Arts, my path becomes colorful landscapes, words in brushes, shades of joy. Painting is a different way of communication, of the colors that come from your heart. We are all blossoming and growing in life. In Hopkinton, the poetry flows naturally as a soft breeze. The town is very inspiring when you are ready to wake up and smell the poetry. The arts gives meaning and inspiration about life. In my early days in Hopkinton, I remember the first thing that I saw in town when I moved from Brazil. It was Christmas season, and there were two red rainbows, and the sign said everything since the beginning. Welcome to Hopkinton. It's true, I can feel. Hopton is a gift. We are all welcome here. Thank you so much. <laughs> If you are honest, you must admit that luck has affected much of your life. Whether sickly or weak or physically fit or circumstance caused unexpected strife. If you were lucky, help was there at your call. Good folks responded. They would not let you fall. Sometimes your own efforts are never enough. Though you think you are strong and able and tough, the bootstraps you claim may sometimes be fragile. Your mind and your efforts 
are not always agile. So boast, if you will, of your success and fame, but know it was luck that you surely must blame. Thank you. Trees where